Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, says tightening of regulations and enforcement at the downstream petroleum is long overdue. Government has hinted it will tighten regulations and enforcement at the downstream petroleum sector. This, according to Ken Oforiata, is expected to curb underreporting and dilution of fuel products and help show government revenue. Total petroleum revenue for 2020 is projected at US 1.150 million. Over the years, we have experienced underreporting, a diversion and dilution of fuel products, and general non compliance in the petroleum downstream sector. This causes government to lose considerable revenue. In, in the year ahead, the spotlight will be turned on the sector to address these irregularities and indiscipline that have become characteristics of this industry. The envisioned actions include providing additional powers to the relevant institutions and enhancing punitive sanctions to check the abuses, revoking the licenses of recalcitrant players in the industry and prosecuting directors and key personnel of such entities. He said automating all processes in the sector to reduce human interventions and provide transparency and instituting stricter monitoring controls are some of the measures to be implemented. Executive Secretary of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, noted the intervention is long overdue. To prevent those persons engaged in under uh, declaring uh, volumes uh, persons also engaged in smuggling products through the illegal routes, uh, persons who are also engaged in uh, backing people doing the wrong thing. If these persons are all roped in, I'm sure that the revenue he would rake in will be enough to even reduce petroleum taxes. He wants government to check the waste across the value chain. Uh, we cannot continue to have the sort of leakage we see in a GNPC, the sort of leakage we are seeing at BOSS, the sort of leakage we are seeing at um, Ghana Gas, and the other companies like Ghana Cylinder Manufacturing Company. Uh, we cannot continue to have a situation where one basket is leaking and the other is only collecting revenue or looking to tighten the fiscal space or revenue generation. So government should also focus uh, critically in 2020 in stopping all the unnecessary procurement breaches.